Hey guys, thanks for joining me. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello, peoples. Welcome to Sharp Ends. I want to do a quick re-review, long-term review of the Mallard Bird and Trout Knife from North Arm. And this one is a Magna Cut, and I think it might have been the very first knife I ever got in Magna Cut. It's right when Magna Cut came out. Uh, this little guy for a bird and trout knife is incredible. Um, it came very sharp. I've sharpened it twice now, and so I just sharpened it for my second time. And I was thinking about this while I sharpened it and thinking about just what a great knife it is. It comes with a sheath, which is a good Kyvex sheath. Um, and works very well. You can either have it set up for an in-pocket carry or for a belt carry. Works really well. And I often just use it in my kitchen, though. I don't really take it out that much. And for what it does and for how thin behind the edge it is, it's incredible. Another feature that I really like about this is this lasering on the side of the knife here that goes along the length of the blade is actually really good because when you're cleaning a knife... I don't know about you guys, but when I'm cleaning a knife, at least, uh, I, I like to take a sponge or something and clean it this way, but that can leave marks and lines inside of your nice convex grind bark river or something like that, which is a shame, right? And But it's really hard to clean a knife up and down like this without cutting yourself or cutting the sponge that you're doing. These lines hide any of those marks, so you can go ahead and clean it along here, and you just can't tell that it's scratched because it's already got that laser etching, which is really, really cool. I also like that it's made in British Columbia. I'm in from Pennsylvania, but I like supporting uh, makers uh, in Canada too. And I really like North Arms. They also make a couple other knives that I really like. One of them is the Alder Chef's Knife. This guy is phenomenal. This is S35VN. I haven't done a review of this yet, but let me just tell you, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal chef's knife. I really like it. And having a big chunk of steel, which is S35, is awesome. And then the other thing that you guys probably know about is the Skaha 2. This thing is also very thin behind the edge. It's got a great finish to it. An amazing action and amazing sound. I love that sound. And this is an amazing pocket knife. It really fits in. So those are my three knives from North Arms, but to get back to the, the bird and trout knife, this thing is really good. It's really well made. I've taken it apart somewhat recently and cleaned underneath the sheath and there was no staining or any kind of patina uh, problems with the Magna Cut. The Magna Cut seems to be treated really well and really hard. Harder, I feel, I haven't looked it up in a long time, but I feel like this must be up there on the hardness value because sharpening it does take a minute to get it a good, nice burr. Um, but now it's razor, razor sharp. I use my KME system on that. And I also, you know, while I was sharpening, I was thinking the way that the, the laser lines are actually come to the point, to the tip along this line here, makes it so that it, it looks, when you remove some material and stuff, it looks like it's purposeful and it swoops up there at the end. So you're not noticing that you're removing material over the long, you know, over how long you've had it, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so... I think for the price and for everything else involved with this knife, it's definitely an awesome little fixed blade. And you should definitely check it out. And if you don't necessarily like this bird and trout, I would definitely suggest looking at their alder or their other chef knives. I think he has a chisel ground one, which is really cool too. And of course, the Skaha too is just a phenomenal pocket knife. And this thing is uh, just a, a joy to carry. And it's just a really well put together little knife. So I, I suggest that too. Thanks so much for joining me on this short little re-review of the North Arms uh, bird and trout knife. There's a link down below if you want to check that out and um, like and subscribe. Leave a comment that really helps the channel. And if you want, you can also become, support this channel by becoming a Patreon member. $3 a month gets you the chance to win a knife every month. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.